everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Christy Rose and today I found out that there is a new Minecraft update. <laughs> uh, the new snapshot is 19w34a um, and it, they're starting to build for uh, Minecraft 1.15 which is really cool. Um, so I wanted to kind of go into the snapshot with you guys and just sort of show you guys what's new. Um, so it says changes in 19w34a, they added bees, added bee nests and hives, added honeycomb, uh, added some dispenser functionality, and the Java edition now requires OpenGL 2.0, um, they fixed a lot of bugs, and there is a new function for loop tables called copy underscore state. I don't know what that means or the Java edition thing means. <laughs> so I apologize about that. Uh, I apologize that I don't know what that means, but we're gonna go through the B stuff and all those kinds of things. First off, I want to see if I can find it, like just bees in general, just in the world. There's new music. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. I'll turn it up uh, in post at this very moment. Um, to like kind of have you guys see it or hear it, but yeah, I don't know. Let's uh go into our inventory and if we type in B, B spawn egg, B nest, and B hive. Okay, that's cool. So we have, I want, hold on, let me get to a spot where it's kind of easy to see what I'm doing. I like this uh, seed. It's actually a really good seed. And I guess you can breed them with flowers too. I guess let's just do, let's just go here and grab some poppies. So we're gonna try breeding them. So be nest and be hive. I wonder what the differences are. Okay. So for the bee introduction stuff, it says bees are cute, fuzzy, neutral mobs. Don't hurt them. They don't want to hurt you. If a bee does sting you, it will leave its stinger in you and eventually die, dropping nothing. Bees love pretty flowers and spend their lives gathering pollen from them. Gather After gathering pollen, bees fly back to their home nest. Bees help you by growing crops while carrying pollen back to the nest. Bees can be bred using flowers. Bees like sharing the location of their favorite flowers with other bees if a bee can't find nectar after a while it will return home for a bit if a bee doesn't have a home nest it will wander around until it finds one it can use bees don't like the rain and they sleep at night they will go back to the nest in these cases so i want to oh my gosh they look adorable I mean, I hate bees in real life, but like, hi key, this is so cute. That is adorable. I can't with how cute these are. If, if I put some flowers down, are you gonna pollinate the flowers? Oh my gosh! How adorable! He just kind of sits there! That is so cute! That is adorable! Ah, they are so cute, I can't! So if I give you that... Okay, uh, let's go to another bee another one of the bees that I spawned. They're so adorable. I hate bees in real life. I can't stand them. But come on. Come this way. I just want to see what a baby bee looks like. Come on. Come on. Come on. I think it's cute that you can breed them with flowers. It's absolutely adorable. What? Where'd the other one go? Oh, what? Oh, there you are. Yay, okay. 
So if I put this down, okay, wait, come back, boom, where did it go, boom, are they gonna, <gasps> it's a baby bee, the parrots and the bats, how cute, okay, beehive, and bee nest, um, so that's adorable. When we go into the bee nests and beehive section, it says, um, in real life, bees dance in their nests to show other bees where flowers are. Bee nests spawn naturally in flower forests, plains, and sunflower plains biomes. Oh, okay. So I just had to look for one of those biomes. Uh, oh, they went into the hive. That's so cute. Um, when a bee visits this block and completes its journey undisturbed, the level of honey increases. Max of five levels of honey. Level five is quite sticky. Bees use nests and hives to share flower locations with other bees. Sometimes bees that already know about a flower will choose not to use this information. Hmm. Beehives are crafted by players using honeycomb and wood planks. Use a silk touch tool to get the block with the bees stored inside. Um, bee nests will be destroyed unless you use silk touch. Use shears when at full honey to get honeycomb. Okay. Use a bottle when at full honey to get a bottle of honey. Or a honey bottle, sorry. Campfire smoke calms bees. Place one underneath the nest slash hive to keep them ch in a chill mood. In chill mode. Weird. Redstone friendly. Bees like bee nests and beehives the same amount. They don't play favorites. Okay. Oh, look at that one. He's pollinating the flower. How adorable is that? Oh no, he went into the thing. Okay. Um... There we go. Okay, um, honey bottle. Organic, gluten-free honey, delicious, locally farmed honey. Oh, he came out. Oh, they all came out. That is adorable. Okay, uh, let's go in here and search up honey. So there's honeycomb and a honey bottle. That's cool. Oh, you drink it. It's like food. <gasps> That's cool. I did not know that. And then honeycomb. You can't eat. Hmm. Okay. Uh, use an empty glass bottle on a hive or nest that is full of honey to get a bottle of honey. Drink it. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Profit. Oh yeah, also craft into sugar. Okay, that's cool. Honeycomb. Cannot be used to comb your hair. Shear a full honey hive or nest to obtain and craft with wood planks to create a beehive. That's awesome. So it looks like that's all there is now for the bees, which is absolutely adorable. I'm just gonna... How cute. I mean, kind of creepy and a little crazy, but. They look adorable. Like their faces just look absolutely cute. Um, okay, so let's do the dispenser thing. So it says that dispensers can now fill bottles with water and honey, and dispensers can now shear honey comb uh, from bee nests and hives. Huh. Well, that's cool. I'm not going to try that because I don't know redstone at all, but that's really cool. Um, and the new loot table function. I didn't even know there was a loot table. Oh, maybe that's not a thing. Maybe it's just like a coding thing. 
Uh, copy state properties from dropped block to block state tag in dropped item. Okay, so I don't know exactly what that means, but if you guys know what it means, uh, leave it down in the comments so that, you know, I can understand it. Um, and then it fixes all the bugs, or a lot of the bugs, um, like chunk swapping, uh, hitbox of slime and magma cube is offset for some seconds. These are the ones that it fixed. Uh, can't hear punching blocks with friendly creatures volume off. Um, cartographers generate maps for existing mansions and monuments rather than unexplored ones. Uh, stone coder does not allow custom recipes inputs to be locked or clicked in. Oh yeah, shift clicked it in. Uh, obsidian towers. Okay, there's a lot of bug fixes, and I'll leave the link to uh, the website that I'm on. Um, it's just Minecraft.net, and it's their uh, release stuff for the new snapshot, but this is really cool, and I'm excited for what's to come in 1.14, because, um, I love all the new changes that they're making to Minecraft, and I think it's just so fun that they just keep on adding to it. It's not a thing where they stop and, you know, here's the full release of the game, we're not going to edit it anymore or anything like that, and I think it's really cool that they're doing that. They've always done that, which is another reason I love Minecraft. Um... But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it's short. Um, I definitely covered the bee stuff because that's what was most interesting to me. Um, I'm interested to know how you tell, like, the honey is full. Maybe, like, the block changes or something. But it's really cool. Um, I'm sorry if this wasn't, like, a very professional overview of the snapshot. But um, it's really fun, and I'm really excited for what's to come for 1.15. I think it's going to be really big and really cool. So, uh, I'm just excited for it. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I love you guys so, so much. Just thank you for everything. And don't forget to like if you like, like the video if you liked it and leave no comment down below. Um, what do you guys think of the bees? Do you like that they're adding like more creatures and stuff? Cause I think it's so cool. Um, and don't forget to subscribe so you, that you guys can see more from me. I have uh, three series so far on my channel, and I'm just going to add more. So, yeah. <laughs> and uh, the bell right next to the subscribe button. Don't forget to click that so that you don't miss a video of mine. Um, I will see you all next time. Bye! <laughs>